Hey everyone, Sir Terman here again, and today we're gonna go back to some Ryu gameplay. So Opio sits with this new blue purple bin smoke Ryu leader. Now we have already showcased this deck before, uh, so there is another deck breakdown that we did about a month and a half ago or so. I'm gonna have that in the description below. So today we're not gonna do the deck breakdown like we usually do when, the, when whenever we have the first game of. Uh, of a deck. Uh, today we're just going to jump straight to those games. Today we have three games. Three games against Gekumora as we start getting used to playing on the rank simulator. Honestly, it's a lot easier than I ever thought it was. I don't know why it took me so long to jump in onto this rank simulator. So all three games you're going to see today are going to be with matches that are quote unquote rank matches, right? Uh, so again, three games against Gekumora. If you like today's video, make sure to like the video below and subscribe to us. We post One Piece videos every single day. Uh, we usually do three videos per leader. So again, this is going to be video number one of Riju. And over the next two days, you're going to see all the Riju gameplay. And our list is here on the screen and also in the description below. So enjoy the games and I'll see you all later. In this match, we're going against Gekamora. I kind of like my hand, but I don't have the stage. So I think I have to mull again, right? We still don't have the stage, unfortunately. Yeah, so no stage or Jeremiah 66. Yikes. Yikes, yikes, yikes. Huh. What am I doing then? Guess we'll go like this. Aqua start. Yeah, not having the stage makes this deck like 10 times weaker. Well, I can go Perona here, and I guess I just trash one of the Ichijis, and that would enable me to have this Ichiji from the trash. I have five done. It's just a Kusan? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. This is not great. Yeah, this is not great. Oh, no. No, screw it. Let's just grab this Judge, to be honest. Yeah, let's just grab this judge and say that I'm gonna need to just play for judge win condition. Yeah, I'm gonna just need to play for this judge win condition. We'll go for seven here, then we'll go five. Opponent can easily remove this Ichiji because they're gonna have Kusan on the field. We don't have another small Ichiji. They're gonna counter out of this. Okay. Verona. I guess it, ma it makes it so that the Perona is in their hand now. I need to kill this Kusam somehow. This is not a great start. We, we do have the stage now. And maybe we actually go ahead and play for this Judge win condition. We have the Riju as well, so we'll be able to kind of get a lot of draw here. Uh, we need to start countering out, though, to be able to actually get value from that draw. Opponent gives me a 2k counter there as well. So they don't have any other 1ks? They don't have any other 1ks then, huh? Yeah, so you Kusan, get this down to uh, to uh, three. Then you still need to have... So even if you get this down to three, you still need to have a great eruption to be able to kill it with Absalon. An opponent didn't find the Absalon in their trash and just played another 2k counter. So they might actually not be able to kill this Ichiji because this can only get it down to three. They still need another great eruption to get it down. I guess they could play a Suru. So they need to have Great Eruption or Suru to actually get this down to two or less. Could be an Ice Age, right? There's a lot of things, I guess, that they could do. We'll be at six next turn. We'll go down to five. Then we'll be at seven the next time after that. We'll go down to six, and then we'll be able to play this Judge. Okay, so they do have the Great Eruption. All right, so now you can just go Lushi here, or like you go Kusa, and then you go Lushi or Absalom, and you're chilling. We can trash this second Ichiji. Oh, actually, we probably want to trash the... Well, I guess we can trash this Riju right now, right? Yeah, we can trash this Riju right now. Yeah, there goes... Here goes the Absalon. Boom, boom. Yeah, you play... Ooh, they went for Perona? Wait a second. So you're not killing this Ichiji? Wait a second. Wait a second, wait a second. We take this, I think. If I take this, will I have enough to actually go for the Riju next turn? 
Or do I need to counter with everything? Honestly, let's counter with everything here. And I'll counter with the second region. I just rebuild my hand after. They don't even attack with the Kusan. Okay, so they didn't even attack with the Kusan, so that ended up working out for us. Um, I can always bounce this Kusan back to their hand. I would hate to play this Niji, though, because it is going to tap me. Yeah, we didn't, we didn't find it. Give me the... There we go. Um, I guess let's get a Jonji. That's the only, that's the only big kid that we're missing over here, right? Yeah, so now we can go like this. The only reason I hate doing this, um, is because it's going to let the opponent, it, I won't be able to go for the judge play, right? I won't be able to go for the judge play anymore, but I think that's fine. Getting that Kusan out of the way so that Absalom is no longer a threat is so good for us. So we'll go for seven here. So we'll go back to six next turn. Go back to five. Yeah, I, I don't think it's going to be a judge game anymore just because of the way that I did this. The problem is that I do need to have this other Ichijis for me to feel more comfortable. Maybe we should actually play for the judge. The problem is that for me to play for the judge means that I cannot do anything next turn except for just straight up play this Jonji. I guess I could have straight up played this each this Niji too, right? No, because I, I didn't have enough Dawn. I only had three Dawn, right? I only had three Dawn. I really I really think Judge will seal this game. I would really like to play Judge here. Opponent doesn't have their Helmepo on the trash. So they cannot go Mora into Helmepo into Absalom. To kill this this uh, Niji, so at most they can go like a Suru, Absalon, Mora to kill Riju, but that still gives me with so much value. Okay, I guess you might have a Lushi then if you're doing like this Ice Age. It's about time that you kill this 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 Ichiji. Oh no, it's just gonna be Absalon. Yeah, it's just gonna be Absalon. What am I talking about? That's a very easy Absalon here. When he still has four down. Yeah, you go Absalon, you kill this. Do they have another Absalon in the trash yet? They don't have another Absalon in the trash just yet. Yeah, this one, I think we can just give them the Queen. They're going to play a blocker here. Yep. What did I say? <laughs> uh, yeah, you know, the more I think about this, the more I just really want to play this Jonji. I guess we could play Riju. We could play Re No, we don't have another Riju. I guess let's see what we get first. I think I do want to play this Jonji down and just go for Judge next turn. So that is going to leave me with two down, which means that we can attack for six three times. I guess we can just attack into the Perona, to be honest. We do need to make sure that we're not dying. So we can attack into the Perona first. Opponent is probably just going to let her die. Maybe they don't let her die. Okay, they will let her die, right? So then we can go for sets here. Just to make sure that this Porcelino cannot block it. We're going to we're gonna show four Dawn so that the opponent thinks I have an Ishiji in my hand. Okay. Yeah, we're going to leave four Dawn, right? We're going to leave four Dawn open. Opponent is going to think I have an EGG in my hand, so they cannot block with this Borsalino. And then we're just going to go like this. Um, it's scary because the opponent can easily remove this Jonji. But again, I'm just going to go for Judge next turn, get everything back. Including this Jonji. So we have Jonji, EGG. I guess we have to let this Niji die. What if the opponent doesn't kill my, my Niji? We can discard the Riju, so that's no problem, right? We can discard the Riju, that's no problem. We have another one here. I guess we can just go like this too. 
Opponent might just go Pomora. Okay, if they go like this, I will give them the Jonji. Yeah, they're just gonna go for Mora here, right? They're just gonna go for Mora, and I guess we won't be able to get value from the Sneaky. I guess we can override it, right? We can override it and replay it. So we can attack with it. Attack twice. Override my whole board and play all four kits. Yeah, they go more right here. They go another Borsalino. Cool. So they're going to just hide behind blockers. So again, this is why we can also just kill their Absalom first. They drew a Kusan. They drew a Kusan and they have another one in their hand. So we know they have two Kusans in their hand, by the way. We know they have two Kusans in their hand. They're actually going to attack here. Which I think is smart. I think it's very smart by them to attack there. So if that's the case, I think I just go for this Borsalino first. Of course, they're going to give two of their cards in their hand at Kusans. Okay. Um, are we gonna override everything? We are gonna override everything, right? Yeah, we're just gonna go like this. I don't want to play this Gemma Kingdom yet. I think I'm just going to go ahead and throw the two Regis out with my Judge. If the opponent blocks your Borsalino, we can play the Ichiji and KO the Borsalino later. All right, okay, so we're just going to go like this then. Yep, we're just going to go like this. I'm going to return one done. We're going to trash here and here. Um, We'll play this Jonji. Play this Riju. We'll play this over this. And uh, we'll play this over this, right? We get to draw a card here. So. I can KO their brand new here. Getting rid of one unit. So I can KO this. The, the, op the other option is to actually send this Borsalino back to their hand. But then the opponent can just replay it. I think I'm actually just going to KO this. I think I'm actually going to KO this. I'm going to go like this, give this minus two. I'm going to go like this, get my bunch of draw. I'm going to go here, get this boy. I'm going to go like this, trash here, get another Ichiji so that we have another Russia for next turn, right? And now we can attack for five and then attack for seven. An opponent cannot block with Borsalino because the Borsalino is at four, right? So opponent cannot block. So this is this is the opponent is telling us here that they're gonna go for lethal. The problem is that I have a blocker, so they have to spend done to get rid of the blocker, and then we have two, two, one, one. So we can go to eleven, right? But the opponent is not surviving so next turn. I don't care. I guess they could have Rebecca into Sabo and hide behind three blockers. Yeah, they can have Rebecca into Sabo to hide behind three blockers. Uh, they can kill this HG. But I just give them the block of Jonji if they do that. So even though they have three attacks, I have two lives, right? So I have two lives, and my board net son is going to be freaking crazy. And we have multiple 2k counters, and the 1k counter. So that, that's that's the beauty, right? right? If you saw what I did last turn, I attacked with the Niji and the Ryu first, right? And then I did the Judge, overrode everything... And got them back again because it's better for me to have them back here active rather than resting. Now, the opponent does have a lot of cards. So, this is going to be Absalom to kill this Jonji. The opponent is going to have three more, two more attacks after this. They can go to 9, 10, 10, and 11. So, 1, 11, and 1, 10. Okay, so they can go even less. But I remember, we can go to 9, 10, 11. So, at most, the opponent can go 9. 10 10 so they can go 10 twice and we're, we're still fine <laughs> so i don't care you can play your absalom here kill my jonji and i'm just chilling i'm so chilling yeah we'll take the eight i mean i understand why the opponent has to go for it right oh actually even less because i forgot that the opponent has to use uh opponent has to use two dawn from from their gecko mora ability yeah, they went ahead and committed for the attack here. So this at seven. 
8. They can go for 10. Yeah, we'll take this 8. I could have actually played that, right? And then we'll show them everything that we have. Well, not even everything. But this is just game here because the opponent has no blockers, right? So this judge kind of put them on this timer where the opponent had to try to kill us that time, which means that they rested their blocker and we were able to do whatever we wanted to do. So GG's. I really like this matchup versus Moray. I think it's kind of cool, but good games. In this match, we're going against Moira. All right. Um... I think I want to go first and just be super aggressive, to be honest. But at the same time, letting them go second could be annoying for us. If I get the stage, okay, we get the stage. So I guess if we get the stage, it's fine to go first. We'll just go ahead and use the German Kingdom right now. We'll discard the Ichiji. Yeah, so we'll go like this. We'll trash this. Uh, let's get the Niji. That way we can just trash the Niji next time. And have this second Niji in my hand. So that could give me some value. You can KO their um their brand new. Okay, the opponent got a sewer there. Uh, Alright, let's start here. Ooh. Uh, we definitely grabbed the Riju. I still think I like the Niji, to be honest. I think I like the Niji. I think I think I like the Niji. We'll KO it. We'll leave the other stuff for later. We'll go like this. Oop. We'll return this. Play this guy. Uh, we'll activate this guy first. And uh, we'll KO him. Let's go from there. Next, so we can trash the Riju. Have the other Riju come down. This will be a set scale that the opponent has to watch out for. So we'll have four done. If the opponent KOs this, we do have another Niji that we can always bring back. Opponent needs to have, I guess, like if they have like an Absalon, like this. The reason why I like the Niji over the Riju is because the opponent cannot have gear option into Absalon here because the Niji only goes down to three costs, right? But it's just gonna go ahead and just rip it and it's gonna be Perona, I'm guessing. Which is fine with me because I just get to trash the Rejus anyways. So they're gonna drop Perona. Maybe they drop the hog back. Maybe they decide they're playing the okay. No, it is the Perona. It makes it makes the most sense. Yeah, so we'll trash this. We'll take it. We have another Ichig. We don't have the baby Ichigs though, so still looking for that. Still looking for that here. Um I guess let's trash this. We get the German 66. We go one, we can go five sets and just play here. We still don't get it. Ugh. This is not great. I guess we'll grab another Riju for now. We'll grab another Riju for now. We'll attack for seven. Attack for five. Play this Riju. Get the draw. We'll be at five cards. Yeah, we'll have five cards. Right, so we'll be able to get the draw from this. We'll return this, go here. We'll activate this girl first. You got, you got to do it in the order. You got to activate the big Riju first and then the little Riju. That way you get the full three draw. Because if you trigger the little Riju first, then you're going to end up with six cards in your hand. And then you won't actually be able to use the, the two draw from this Riju here. Now, the opponent... We'll have another great eruption and then I mean they haven't found the Absalom yet, but there's a good chance they have it in their hand. Here will be a five down next turn, so we can still go for uh Ichiji and have one extra down to attack for seven again. So we can go five, five, seven, and then another seven. Or we can just drop Niji and Riju and just get a bunch of draw. At this point, probably worth it to kind of start countering out of certain things just to keep my hand size small in case that I choose to go for the second Riju. Yeah, I think I'm in a, I'm in a pretty healthy spot here. Now it's just a matter of how much aggression can I put into the opponent. Yeah, so like here, we'll go ahead and just trash this Niji, keep ourselves at three life. We don't mind sending the big, like now, even if the opponent doesn't kill this Niji, we know we have another Niji here that we can play. I don't want to bounce this back to their hand. That's kind of annoying. Ooh, opponent didn't actually do it. Hmm. 
have a four drop then? I think I'm probably just gonna go Ichiji. I think I'm gonna go Ichiji next turn. I don't want to give up any of my other little kits. I guess we can give up one Niji, but then that's going to be like one less in my hand. I'm going to keep myself healthy enough. I think I'm going to keep myself healthy enough, keep myself a five. Okay, so so this makes it easy now, right? We got to go We gotta go for this Niji into Riju because we don't want that Kusan to stay on the field, right? We don't want that Kusan to stay on the field. Um, so that's going to be our whole five down. I'm going to be just spent doing that. Which means that we can go ahead and do this. There's another little Ichiji now. So we can go five, five. I guess we should probably kill that Perona, to be honest. Do I care? I actually prefer if she stays there, right? Because that means that the opponent's not... If the Perona stays there, opponent's... I guess opponent's going to be attacking into my Riju, which is kind of annoying. Yeah, let's go like this. Okay. Uh, we'll go like this first. We'll return one down, play this guy. We'll activate this guy first. Send target to hand, which is going to be here. Ooh, we Okay, we didn't mess up. I thought I messed up for a second, but we do have enough to actually get a draw here. And we'll play this, get the two draw. Set up ourselves for next time to have four units on the field. Again, we can give up some stuff here, right? If the opponent only attacks for five, we can just counter for one. They might just play the more right here. We know they have a Kusan in their hand, right? So sending the Kusan back is nice. Not that the opponent didn't have Absalom anyways. It's kind of crazy that the opponent might actually leave everything on the field. Like, do they really not have this removal? I mean, they haven't found Absalom yet, so that helps us. We don't have another little Riju, so after after we kind of tap out of cards in our hand, we won't be able to kind of get more cards. But we have two Ichijis, and we still have this German Kingdom to try to look for stuff. We did bottom deck one of the little Riju, uh, one of the little uh, Rejus earlier, so this should only be one more here. And down to give you this Jonji, I don't think I'm gonna use it. You're gonna go for your Mora here, okay? They're gonna go for Mora. So what is this then? You're gonna go Borsalino. No, Hogback. So not even a blocker. Brand new. Okay, so they're searching for stuff. I guess they want to fill their trash, potentially. I have to be careful, I guess. I, I probably do need to start focusing on their board a little bit. So they got another Mora from their hand, from their trash. So they have a Kusan and a Mora. So they have two cards with no counter. We're brand new, they get Ice Age, so they'll be able to de they they'll be able to remove my stuff. I need to start being a little bit careful. Because I mean this whole this board is wide enough that it's gonna be a problem. We can go five, 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 six, seven, seven. Maybe we actually kill Perona right now. Just to be safe. Opponent already has a second Perona anyway, so I don't think it matters. Do we are we gonna need the three Ichijis? I would prefer not to trash this Ichiji away. What if we go here first? What if we go here first? Uh yeah, let's let's go here. Two minus two. Okay, I wanna I wanted to oh that's actually that could actually be kinda crazy. That could actually be kinda crazy. Hmm. Yeah, we'll go like this. Just get one unit out of the way, right? We'll go five. We do want to use this German Kingdom, I think. It's kind of weird, though, because I don't want to give up, like, any of my counters. I mean, opponent probably just... Yeah, opponent's probably just going to tap out or uh, get their cards. Okay, so since they're doing it that way, then we know for sure we don't have to worry about using this pudding anymore. Because I don't think opponent... Yeah, I don't think opponent... I don't think opponent's going to have enough cards for this pudding to matter. We're going to go like this. Trash the pudding. We're not going to get to judge this game. We're going to have sit stun next turn. And we're going to just continue playing Ichijis. So we're not going to get to judge. I don't think we need the second Ichiji anymore. I think we just go Sora. 
Opponent's gonna have to start putting cards down. They're gonna have to start killing my units here. We know they have a second Moira. We know they have a Kusan in their hand. If this pudding was a little bit earlier in the game, maybe I would have considered playing her. They are two live, but this is when they start playing the Borsalino blockers or potentially Rebecca later on, but they, don't have, they haven't gotten Rebecca yet. Um, we, we have all three Nijis on the discard, so we can't get another Niji back. What I could do, I could always play Sora. Like if I if I, if I if I find myself thinking that it's better to, we're gonna just go like this. I'm, I'm just gonna save all my units. If I have this many, we know the opponent has Ice Age, right? But the problem is that the opponent hasn't found Lucy or just hasn't found Absalon. So even with the Ice Age, they don't really have a good way to like kill my stuff. Yeah, so they're forced to play Kusan here. They go for the Ice Age now, so they're gonna kill this HG. We're gonna just have another one coming down. You need to give me a blocker. Yeah, you need to give me a blocker. I'm not going to give you any of these cards. I guess Gekko is going to kill one of them no matter what, right? So you have the Absalom in your hand then, right? You have the Absalom and you're going to kill this. Yeah, you have. You find the Absalom in your hand. You find the Lushi now in there. You kill this. You attack me for shit so I can just counter out. Mora is going to kill one of them, but I'm still going to have one, two, three, four, five attackers. Five attackers, six attackers here. Hmm. Yeah, you, you absolutely kill, right? You, you have to attack with this Mora. Now, we know that the opponent has one more Mora in their hand, so one of their cards in their hand is kind of like a deck card. The opponent has shown me one, two, three, four, four 2k counters. No, three 2k counters, I can't count. Yeah, so two Peronas and one Suru. Yeah, so I, I have to let this go. There's no reason for me to give up Ichijis when I'm going to need the Ichijis for later anyways. Um, I am down to give up the Sora. I guess we'll just grab this, right? Okay, so we're going to have four. We know we're going to have four. I'm going to die in next turn if I go all in here. This doesn't matter, right? I mean, I'm not gonna do it. Okay, that's what I was looking for, right? So I think I actually rather go for this Riju. Oh wait, but we don't have a we don't have a big Riju on the field because the opponent hasn't actually killed this one. So I guess we'll just go for the dawn. So we can go seven twice and a bunch of fives. Again, my question is, do I need to actually worry about their war? One, two, three, four, five attacks. We have five life. We only have a couple of counters. If we get rid of this hogback, opponent still has one, two, three, four attacks. Opponent will still have four attacks. I think we just I think we just attack into their life. I think we just ignore. We know that the opponent has one more right here. The opponent gave me a 2k counter there, so that means that my 5k's are gonna just get through. Okay. Great eruption. They're gonna make me trash. We'll trash one of these guys. Um Let's go seven here. Okay. Let's go five. Again, opponent showed me a 2k earlier. That's another 2k. So do you have a double 2k here? They do. All right, so they have to go all in. We know they have a Moira. They have to go all in and kill us here through my three life. They have one, two, three, four, five attacks. We don't have any blockers. We only have three cards. Ah, that's not gonna work. Okay, so that's one that's one attack wasted. So one, two, three, four attacks is still enough to kill us. Alright, so let me think about this. We take this seven. Opponent can still go seven here. Seven. If they go eight, eight, I will actually die. But I mean I have three cards. The chances of me not joining a counter are pretty low. But let's say they go for nine. They can go for sorry, they go for seven. They, they go for eight. Then they go for nine and then they go for ten and they actually get there. Yeah, okay. So actually I'll probably just block that one. If they go for the nine here. 
Uh, I'd choose be okay then, right? I guess I can go double nines. They can go double nines, so it's going to all depend on whatever that last card is. If that's a non-counter card, I do lose. They might not take the chance. They went for eight. Okay, so eight we can counter, right? We can go here, here, and here. If they went nine, nine, maybe they had a chance. Yeah, if they went nine, actually, I guess I guess that wouldn't that, that wouldn't have been true because I got another one K counter, so I would have been able to go. Yeah, he he. They wouldn't have one with nine now, because I I ended up getting the last one too. But that was close, right? I just ended up needed to go aggressive because I, I wasn't gonna get through like all the other stuff that they had to do there. So, GG's. In this match, we're gonna against Moira. All right. Hmm. So we can go super aggressive, and just hope that the opponent doesn't have the removal for my kids. I I definitely need to find the stage. I think. Oh, I think I need to mulligan this, right? I need opponent chose to go first. I need to mulligan this, look for the stage. We don't get the stage, but I, I guess we can always go Kaya. Okay, we get the stage. So we're just good gamers anyways. Yeah, we're good gamers anyway. So we get the stage. Let's grab this Ichiji. I think it's important for us to grab Ichiji. Unfortunately, we didn't get the Riju. Riju would have been nicer, right? Because we have this little Riju in our hand already. But we do want to have this Ichiji in the trash here sooner rather than later to start putting value. I know a lot of people are not fans of Jonji. I still like him. Maybe not in this match. I, I, I think he's still decent. He's still decent. We're forcing the opponent to have to deal with a blocker later, which is better than nothing. If opponent, The good thing about this matchup is that if the opponent plays the Perona, we can always just trash our Ichiji anyways. And it's not like we we're going to lose anything. Because we were always planning to trash it no matter what, right? So let's say that this is a Perona. We're not, it's not even losing us a counter, right? Yep, there's the Perona. We go like this. Um, Let's take this. Oh, that's a good one. Actually, probably... Okay, well, I got lucky. I was going to say, probably, it probably was better for me to not have used this like that. It probably was better for me to actually use it as an effect. Uh, but it ended up working out. We can go here. Um, I think I do want to grab the second Ichigi. Now, we know what we're going to do here, right? We're going to go, we're going to go seven. So we're going to go seven, force the opponent to give me two cards or take the life. They're probably just going to take this life. It makes sense. Then we'll go read you. We'll have exactly five cards. So we'll be able to just draw a ton here. We want to use the big read you first so that we actually get a draw from it. And we did. If you use the leader first, you won't get the draw from this because then you're going to be you're going to have six cards in your hand, right? So you always, you always want to use this read you first. So opponent has two attacks here. And the two attacks are pretty strong. They cannot play. They can no longer play Absalom plus Great Eruption to kill this Riju. So we'll have one attack, another attacker for next turn, which is nice. They do have Ice Age, so they're gonna be able to just KO my stuff later. Do you have another Perona then? This smells to me like another Perona. Oh, it's just Sentry. Okay, so the opponent just wanted to get cards into their field, which I think is fair. Uh, let's give the 2K counter because we probably gonna draw again, honestly. Yeah, but I, I, I'm wondering. Hmm. Is it better for me to just go Ichiji or is it better for me to draw again? I guess we cannot draw again right now until we counter out more. So I guess we'll just go for the Ichiji. Just KO the Perona. We'll have. We still have one more. We already have two of them. I don't think we need more than two of them in our, in our field. Yeah, we'll go like this. I can actually honestly go second stage here, to be honest. But I think I'm just going to put the Dawn here. Uh, so we'll go here. We'll return the Dawn. Play this guy. Do minus. Get the draw. Oh, that's beautiful. Because now I can actually go ahead and do this. We don't have... We don't have blue guy, right? Yeah, we don't have blue guy yet. So let's go ahead and get blue guy. 
blackout going blue guy here. Uh, we'll go five. Five, seven. It's not worth it to save that. It's, it's not worth it to save that for them, ever. We go to sit down next turn. And we'll pass. All right. We have another Ichigi that we can play next turn. Just continue putting pressure into this opponent. Imagine if we had pudding here. Imagine if we had this pudding, how crazy this would be. Opponent's just going to go Perona again. We can just trash the German Kingdom. Uh, it has to be Perona because you didn't do any discounts for Absalom to matter. Yeah, so it has to be Perona again. You force me to trash. I'm going to actually save this, to be honest. Yeah, I'm going to just save this, right? Just give it a 2k. When it goes Porcelino. So we have we can bounce this Porcelino back if we wanted to just go ahead and do this. If we do it like that, we'll keep ourselves with enough done to actually play our judge next time. We have little Ichiji we have here. We don't have the little Niji though. Like I can just play this straight up. I could just play this straight up. Let's go here first. We get Jonji. We can get... Is that worth it? Is this pudding worth it? Is this pudding worth it? Oh, I guess we can't grab her because she's not... Yeah, yeah, never mind. What am I talking about? We can't grab her anyways. So I think it's just going to be Jonji, right? Um, I do like the idea of leaving myself to be able to just play Judge next turn. Yeah, I think I like this. I think I like this. We're gonna go like this. We're gonna go five, six, seven. We don't have the blue little kid, but we do have the green, purple, and red. So we can play Riju, Ichiji, and Jonji, which is still gonna give me three units plus Judge to get whatever value they need, right? Uh, we'll go six here. That's gonna force a 2K. And then we go seven, and that's gonna force two cards. Not only that, even if the opponent has the opponent could have like an Ice Age into Moria next turn, and it still shouldn't be enough. Imagine if I could have actually searched that pudding with the German 60 sets. How nuts would that have been? Yeah, you wanna you wanna you wanna keep countering here. You don't wanna go down to one. I don't think you wanna go down to one. Okay, they went to one. Alright, cool. So let's say they play Moira here. They can go Ice Age and Moira. But that seems like a waste of the Ice Age when you really have Helmepo on the field. Ah, uh, so yeah, they can go like Mora, Absalon, Helmepo. I like I like developing the Judge just because it means that I'm gonna have a bunch of attackers. Not for this next attack, but they attack after. So no matter how many units the opponent removes here, we'll have we'll be able to fill the board back up really quickly. We'll be able to fill our hand back up because of the Riju as well. And we'll still have an attack to begin with, right? Yeah, so I'll, I'll give you this Jonji, because again, we, we know we need him in the trash anyways to be able to play the Judge. I do need to have two cards in my hand to play this Judge, by the way. Remember that. Remember that, guys. So... No, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and counter this too. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and counter this too and force the opponent to give me more. We can trash whatever we draw plus one of these Ichijis and keep the second one in my hand for us to have another rusher on the turn, turn, turn after. They definitely have a more right here, right? They definitely have a more right here. They're just thinking how they want to do this. Um, we keep ourselves almost all our units. We might not even need Judge, to be honest. If the opponent doesn't develop a blocker here, we might not need Judge. Like this is tough for them because they want they need to have a blocker because they're down to one life. They go for the Mora. They go for the blocker, right? So there you go. Yeah, because they're down to one life, they have to go for the blocker, which means that they literally don't get to remove any of my units. Um so I'm digging this pudding now. I'm absolutely digging this pudding now. Right? 
This is kind of nuts, isn't it? We can go minus two here so that we can go still attack for five, five. Yeah, let's just go like this. Yeah, let's force the opponent to do this. Uh, we'll go here. Return it. Go like this. Give this. Oops. Give this minus two, right? So now we can attack for five without having to worry about this being a good blocker. Opponent has five cards now. We just we just pretty much trash three cards from their hand, by the way, by doing this this putting. We top deck there, which is what I needed, right? So we go five. You're going to have to give me everything. They have one, two, three, four attacks next turn. So it could be a little bit scary. But I'm pretty sure that the opponent has to give me this blocker here. Right? They gave me a 2k there for a 5k attack. So their hand must just be 2k's. Okay. One, two, three, four. We have three life. They have to give me two cards here. I guess we can go like this, to be honest. Just trash this judge. Search for a 2k. Let's force their let's force their hand. Yeah, if they give me the Borsalino, then they have one less attacker next turn. So I'm not dying now, right? I don't think I was gonna die anyways. I don't think opponent can deal with every unit that I have on the field. Plus me having another Ichiji. So when they kill one of these Ichijis, I just get to play it again. That's rough. So they're gonna just try to go for lethal, huh? So let's think about this. They can go five, five, nine, and I guess they can go 13, and that would be enough to quote unquote kill us. I don't wanna give up this Ichiji. I just don't feel like taking this 5K either though. That kinda feels weird. I guess we can take this first one. If the opponent attacks for five again, we can always counter. Yeah, they have to go for Lito. The brand use gives them extra attacks, but it's a lot of dumb commitment, right? You need to have two done on each brand new. Okay. I guess they can go Perona here. It's going to trash a card from my hand. So if they put a Don on the Maria and go Perona, they trash a card from my hand. Which is gonna leave me with one one less 1k counter. Oh no, they're gonna go Grey Eruption. So they just spent a down on a Grey Eruption not to go for Lethal. I'm chilling with that. I don't see a way that they can go for Lethal here, right? Am I missing something? They have one life. So I can take one more hit. I have four, five, six, seven k counter. Opponent can go, let's say, for seven. Seven, seven, three times. If they go seven, three times, we can counter out of it very easily. If they play a Perona from their trash, that's going to be three Dawn. One Dawn on the Mora and two Dawn. And they just spend a Dawn on the Great Eruption. So I know for a fact that they don't have enough Dawn to actually get us there anymore. To get there anymore. I, I really do think that putting was like a game breaking, right? You might not think that three cards matter, but three cards matter a lot. So the opponent went from eight cards to five cards in their hand, and that's huge. Especially when you're so close to just losing the game, and, you, and you're relying on all those counters that you might have in your hand. Because now everything that you have been doing the whole game gets flipped upside down, right? So, yeah, the problem with them is that, yeah, if they play Perona here, yes, they trash a card from my hand. Right? They get to trash a card from my hand, but they had to use two they had to use a bunch of down for that. Right? So we just go like this. And we still have 4k counter value. And the opponent cannot go nine twice. They can only go yeah, six. We counter. And then the opponent goes for another six. And we can even counter the other six as well. So yeah, because they went for the Perona play, they just didn't have any, they just didn't have a chance, right? And that pudding. That pudding it was just MVP there for us. So, GG's. Hey, welcome back, everyone. Hope you enjoyed those games of Riju versus Gekamora. I feel like... Is that match supposed to be favorable for us? Like, I still don't know. But I had three different games against three different players. 
And all three games, I felt like I was in control, right? Like, we just kind of got to this point where we are just putting so much pressure into the opponent and just having all these units while also being able to refill our hand with the Riju. Of course, it helped that we had the stage in those matches, right? The stage kind of just sets up everything for this deck, but still. And then you even got to see Judge coming in, right? And kind of putting that pressure that Judge can do by developing the whole board, making it so the opponent's on a timer, because next thing we're going to have six big attacks to attack into them if they don't hit deal with our board. So maybe that is supposed to be a terrible match. We even got to see the pudding kind of blowing up the opponent's hand in one game too. So yeah, I like it. I like it. I I'm still... I'm still a fan of Jonji. I'm still a fan of Jonji just because, if anything, it makes my judge turn even better. But I can understand why people don't like it. It is a lot easier to get rid of the Jonji with like an Absalom plus Great Eruption compared to like five cast blockers like Queen. We are playing two of each though, so depending on the situation, it doesn't hurt to play one or the other. Uh, but yeah, so that's Riju gameplay. Hope you enjoyed today's games. We're gonna have games, and uh, we're, we're gonna have videos against different leaders over the next couple of days. More Riju gameplay. So if you like our content, make sure to like it below and subscribe to us. We post One Piece videos every single day. Enjoy your day, and I'll see you all again tomorrow.